and welcome back to Amphibian Craft. I would just like to make a couple of quick apologies. I was indeed saying Amphibian Craft. I don't know where that came from. I even was thinking about how it was spelt in my head and I still said Amphibian Craft. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Anyway, as you can see, I got some food now. Just a little bit. Nothing spectacular. But I got some carrots. I got some watermelon. And yeah, that will definitely help out a little bit. Won't be starving all the time. Anyway, did a little bit more in the house. Took my bed, or I had my bed right here, but I changed the floor. Got a nice looking floor here. Got a stair there so I can get up to the second floor. Into my bed. Gonna sleep the night off quick since nobody's playing. So, a couple things I've been up to. Been doing a little bit of grinding as far as getting sand. I'm gonna turn that down. Get that sound out of the way. Alright. Yeah, as you can see, I did a little bit of grinding here. Got some sand. And I have been making a road back to spawn where, or the castle at least, where my friends have been building. Just so I can find them a little bit easier. And if they ever have the desire to come and find out what I'm up to, they can get out to me as well. So I'm going to go and show you that real quick. These little sand blocks that are posted up everywhere, those are just spot holders so that I can know where I roughly want that road to go. I've been making the road out of sand, so it's a nice little marker. Right here is where I got to. Kind of making it a little bit of an organic looking shape. I want it to look like a road, but not look like a road. Don't want it to just be square corners and block shape. Even though this is Minecraft and everything's block shaped. I wanted to have the more flowy feel to it. Poor pig. Take his bacon though. His ham. Yeah, right there you can see. You can see the castle a little bit. This is roughly where I want my road to go in, but they don't have any way of getting inside of here, so gonna make my own little entrance way. One thing I have to say about these kids here is that they love their cobblestone. Literally the only three, four, okay, five blocks that I've seen them use. Sand for the farm, cobblestone, glass, there and there. Oh. You got a fence post. Or a fence gate. Ah, uh, how do I get in here? Oh. And wood planks. If you go through their entire build, I'm pretty sure that that's all they have for decoration style blocks. Blocks that don't have more of a use than decoration. So like, I'm not counting chests, I'm not counting beds, I'm not counting signs, and I'm not counting crafting tables and furnaces. Cobblestone. It's all cobblestone. Might have to go in there later and clean that up, change it, put some something in there. Just so that it's not all cobblestone. 
it's a very much community build, so I would feel comfortable doing that. I think it was just the only reason they didn't put anything else in there was they were a little too lazy to get around to it. Alright, so something I did here, I don't like two or trees that are only too high off two blocks high off the ground. So like the leaves, you got one, two, and then the leaves start here at the third block up. You can walk under them just fine, but if you're riding a horse, I mean you don't suffocate and you can just go right through it, but I don't like walking through tree branches while I'm riding a horse. It's just weird. It's just something that I do not like very much, so I try to get rid of it when I can. Anyway, I wanted to show you just a little bit of how I've been doing this. Kind of just come through here and as randomly as I can. As a stats major, I know this isn't exactly random because there's some things that I'm avoiding and there's other things. Yeah, it's it's not random, but it's random-ish. So, I mean, there's no set pattern I'm going by here. But, like right there, I would try to avoid doing that too much normally. Play. Yes, please. I will take you. I will take all of you. Come to me. Come to me. All right. Back up a little bit. Oh, yeah. That was a pleasant surprise. I like clay and I'm going to need clay later on and I'm just glad that I got to get a little bit of it before I actually need it. Pleasant surprise. And now time to fill this up because Nobody wants to just have a random hole in the ground. And there's a random hole in the ground. Alright. And there. Oh, man. Oh, well, I'll get more. Anyway, once I got that done, then I'll just come through. And... Fill her up. So, yeah, that's pretty much all that this entails. So, I'm going to do a little bit more of this. And unless something interesting happens, i.e., I die or stumble upon, like, oops, sorry about that stumble upon a cavern or something else or have a fun story to tell you. I'm just going to finish this road off and I will see you in a little bit. Alright, and I am back and I have this road complete for the most part. I'm going to do a little bit more on screen with you but I just want to show you where I've gotten to as you can see I am back at my house you can see I did two little roads going on either side of the house it's going right down onto the beach thought that would be a little nice feature there hopefully all this grass grows in where blocks were taken out or added and yes so up here we have to go down quite a ways. So I made a nice little 
stairway. I figured that'd be nicer than having to jump up a straight cliff, essentially. And yeah. So, I kind of like that, and I'm actually going to go and add another one in. Gosh darn world glitch. Don't know why my game has suddenly started doing that, but whatever. So, I think I left you off right in there somewhere, actually. Maybe it was up here a little bit more. I don't know. But I do know that there is a hill up here that we went over. Uh, it's a baby zombie. Bye <coughs> bye. Right there she is. And I am going to change this up so that way we have ourselves a nice cliff to climb up. A nice stairway to climb up here. To make her about 4x4. Four four. About not 100% sure what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take this out. Come on out. Wish I still had a shovel. Yeah, and those that's only two blocks we can we can climb that. Alright. Go like that. Like that. I like to make it look a little bit nicer than that. So I'm going to make it look like I tried to complete it at least. Alright, where did that crafting table go? It's gonna go like that. So one, two. Hello, pig. Next, we're going to go like this. A little crack in the ground. Like things have slowly been degrading over time. And nope. I'm gonna throw in a little bit more down here at the bottom. Alright. Yeah. And that is it. So that takes you right up to the castle. You saw that. This takes you back. I like that little hole in the ground. It's pretty much the only one I have in here, but it's, it's nice. It's a little different. Pig in a tree. And a mushroom in a tree. This one I don't get. I did not realize that mushrooms could grow on tree limbs. I wonder if that's just a glitch or if that's actually a thing. That just seems really weird to me. I definitely thought that 
you could only grow mushrooms on dirt style blocks and stone style blocks. Did not realize that leaves counted. It's a lot of sand right there, but I kind of like it. I like the fact that there's actually some kind of like structure here. It's I don't know. I like it. Then we have all of that beautiful, beautiful sugar cane. I need sugar cane for one of my builds. Well, I don't need it. It's not going to end up being a big part of the final build, but the building process, it will be a fair amount. Where in the world did that stem go? Gosh darn it. This is why we cannot have nice things. Skeletons and zombies coming through here stomping all my crops. Right there. That is why we cannot have nice things. Oh, I probably killed it myself. Oops. Oh well. Nah, I don't think I killed it. I really don't. But yeah, that's where we are. I'm going to fix that. It's been that way for, I don't even know how long, a couple days. I just realized it. Alright, well... I think I'm going to call it there for today. I think next time we're going to do a little bit of caving. There's a bunch of caves around here that I keep on nearly falling, falling into. And then after that we're going to start a big build, I think. Who knows? It's probably going to have a couple episodes of caving actually. Caving episodes are never short, that's for sure. Always something. I'm gonna kill the squid. There you are. Ink sack. Alright. Well, I'm gonna leave you there. You have a great day. See you next time.